hello again welcome to this video in which I will show you how to install IBM SPSS after you have downloaded it from my files or from IBM website now to download to install SPSS you need your access code that you will receive uh, IBM provides you with free access or free trial for SPSS for a month you can <clears throat> download it till you receive your access code either way locate the file that you downloaded which is usually in the downloads folder and click on it to launch it it will take a while just be patient of course it's going to ask you if you want to install SPSS it might ask for uh, administrator access click yes or ok and it will start the installation process next step it will get you to this license agreement which of course you have to click next and you have to accept the terms in this license ag agreement of course you can scroll and read it click next and it will start the installation process as you can see it will install it under program files IBM SPSS statistics and that's the version that we're downloading which is 27 click next and then just sit down and relax and wait for the installation to start click on install And of course, it tells you that it will take some time to do the installation. It will start the install shield wizard. And this status bar will start progressing. So as you can see, it did the creation of the folders. Now it's updating component registration. Again, it depends on your device it might take a few minutes to install as you know it's a big software with lots of add-ins with lots of capabilities so it will take a while till it is installed so once it's done it's going to give you this window over here installation was completed and you can uncheck this if you don't have the access code right now to enter the authorization access code or you can just keep it if you have it and click on finish now SPSS is installed on your machine and it's launching the authorization wizard which will ask you for your access code so when this is done you will see the product authorization make sure the first option is checked not the second one authorized user license that i purchased of course and this is the one i will be sending you and you can see here that the lock code for this machine this locks this installation to this device that you have you can you can use it only on one machine so make sure this is checked click next and it will ask you to enter the code now I recommend that you copy the code that you will be receiving and paste it here don't try to type it in it's a long code so all you have to do is type it here click on add and click on next okay so if you click cancel or if you try to run SPSS before you enter the code it's going to give you this so it's going to take you back to entering the code if you didn't enter it or you didn't have it when you installed it the first time the last thing I want to show you course let's close this is 
where to access SPSS. Once the installation is finished, you will have this icon on your desktop, or you can go to Start and scroll to I, and you see here IBM SPSS Statistics 27, and you have several applications. This is the one that you need to click on in order to run it. When you launch SPSS, you will get this sheet that looks like Excel, but it's a bit different. So in another video, I will explain how to get started with IBM SPSS, how to set up your sheets, how to clear your variables, how to import files from Excel, for example, into IBM SPSS. Thank you for watching and have a great day.